Hello, friends. This is Professor Gublov. Today's video will be a little unusual, but I'm sure you will like it. So, get comfortable and let's go. The Railroad Bridge in Vancouver. When only one factor is to blame for a collapse, it's more of an exception. And the Vancouver Railroad Bridge collapse was not one of them. On June 17, 1958, several structural problems were responsible for the collapse of a bridge over Burrard Inlet. The accident began when a crane used to connect two sections of the bridge malfunctioned, causing many parts of the structure to collapse. However, after the inspection it turned out that the causes of the accident were multifaceted. Firstly, poor quality of materials, and secondly, unsuccessful engineering solutions. Also, the temporary bracket that held the fifth anchor span was too light to support its weight. The Cologne City Archive Collapse When building structures in a city, builders must be especially careful, because often their actions can have negative consequences for the buildings standing next to them. Usually builders are more than careful, but in 2009 the construction of a subway line under the city of Cologne in Germany led to the collapse of the city's archive building. The accident caused more than a billion euros worth of damage. Upon further inspection, it turned out that due to one of the subway membrane walls of the subway station, so much water and gravel had fallen under the archive building that the foundation was eventually eroded. Thousands of valuable documents were lost. This is truly one of the worst examples of construction negligence in the history of the city. Scaffolding Collapse in Boston Most construction mistakes become apparent during or after an accident, but serious mistakes can occur not only during construction, but also during demolition. Such was the case at Boston's Emerson College in April 2006. Workers were dismantling scaffolding that had been installed in a dormitory earlier in the day. They decided to detach the last metal tie that attached the three-ton platform to the wall of the building. However, the workers forgot to attach the scaffolding to the crane beforehand. This inattention caused the platform to hang dangerously at a height of 30 meters. As there was a tarpaulin on the scaffolding to protect it from the weather, the wind immediately picked it up and toppled the entire structure into the street. This is the worst dismantling of the structure to date. Charing Cross Subway Collapse Generally, building maintenance is aimed at getting a structure into perfect shape. Sometimes it can lead to the exact opposite result, such as what happened at Charing Cross Underground. On December 16, 1905, because a 20-meter-long steel beam collapsed onto the platform below, much of the iron and glass roof was destroyed. Many of the train's wooden goods wagons were smashed to pieces. Upon inspection of the site, it turned out that the weight of the construction materials caused the scaffolding to collapse, which set off a chain reaction that resulted in the collapse of the roof of the station. Had the workers been more careful, it is likely that the disaster could have been avoided. The Lahore Moulton Railway Usually construction is about creating something new, but the construction of the Lahore Moulton Railroad destroyed everything. The ancient city of Harappa in Pakistan's Punjab province is an archaeological site. It was severely damaged during the construction of the railroad. Just so you understand, Harappa is the site of an ancient city that existed between 2600 and 1900 BC, it is extremely valuable to archaeologists. However, when the British came and built the Lahore Moulton Railroad, they used a lot of bricks from the ruins to make track ballast. As a result, Though Harappa remains an interesting place to visit, it is no longer in the shape it was before the construction of the railroad. In fact, the city stood untouched for several hundred years. Residential Complex Lotus Riverside When building residential buildings, location is crucial. Not only is it important to place a building where demand is high, but it is also important to make sure that the land underneath is strong enough. The planners of the seventh block of the Lotus Riverside residential complex in Shanghai, China, apparently did not know this. At first there were no problems during construction. Problems arose when the builders of the block decided to dig a 4.5 meter deep underground parking lot. As a result, a large pile of earth was formed. However, instead of moving it to a safe place, the earth was taken to a landfill that was next to a nearby creek. The weight of this earth caused the bank of the creek to collapse. As a result, water began seeping into the ground underneath the seventh block. The soil around it became very wet. This should have caused the company to stop construction. 
However, it did not stop construction. The wet soil proved to be unstable and could not support the weight of the apartment complex. On June 27, 2009, the entire building collapsed. New York Crane Disaster Operating cranes can be scary enough, but it's even scarier when they malfunction and fall. That's exactly what happened on March 15, 2008, when a crane about 76 meters high collapsed. At the time of the accident, construction workers were busy tying side beams to the crane in the 18th floor to give it extra support. This time, the workers did not use the mobile crane that they had always used before. Moreover, the slings that were involved were made of polyester, which itself is a weak material. All of these factors eventually led to the collapse. Perhaps most surprisingly, however, the rigger, William Repetti, responsible for stabilizing the crane, was never convicted of any charges. The man was indicted on 14 counts. He himself admitted that he failed to check the slings used to secure the crane. Many believed that the construction worker would be found guilty due to negligence. However, this was not the case and all charges against the worker were dropped. The Greater Noida Building Collapse Few contractors have come as cheap as they did when building an apartment building in Greater Noida, India. Although a large apartment building was planned, the decision was made to use a limited amount of materials to create the structure. In particular, it was discovered that the ratio of cement to sand in the construction of the materials was not 1 to 5, as is typical for a building of this size, but 1 to 20. All the iron beams used to support the structure did not meet the recommended thickness of 22-25 mm, they were only 10-12 mm. Moreover, water had accumulated in the basement of the building and it weakened the foundation considerably. It was only a matter of time before the building collapsed. It was undoubtedly one of the worst construction disasters that ever happened in the region. The Malpasset Dam in dam construction, location is critical. Building in a non-ideal location requires more water and concrete, and can cause serious problems. Geologic studies usually ensure that these kinds of mistakes are minimized. The designers of Malpass Dam learned this lesson the hard way. On December 2, 1959, the entire structure collapsed, causing severe flooding. The dam, which was located on the River Rarine in the French Riviera, was built in 1954. At the time, the area was considered quite suitable for construction. However, the builders did not take into account that the location was above a tectonic plate. During construction, explosives were used, which severely damaged the unstable rock. To make matters worse, the structure was built on virtually impenetrable rock, which is problematic because water flowing nearby was trapped under the dam. Thus the water under the structure only added to the instability of the structure. Years before the collapse, cracks began to form. That the government did nothing about it and the dam had no choice but to collapse. The Akir Hotel Collapse Building regulations and strict supervision of compliance with them are very important, as this is the only way to ensure that no serious mistakes are made. Nevertheless, in many of the world's poorest countries, these rules are not followed. The collapse of the Akir Hotel in Nigeria is a terrible example of negligence. In January 2011, the hotel, which was supposed to be a multi-story structure, collapsed due to a number of poor construction works. In particular, the cement used during construction was poor, and it was unevenly distributed throughout the building. The reinforcing bars were too thin and weak to support the weight of the materials used. But the worst part, of course, is that the planners were not properly educated and created a poor design project. Had the mistakes been corrected, could the disaster have been avoided? Well, no one will ever know. Well, as I promised, the video was interesting. So, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.